Let's learn boxing. Welcome back guys. This is our week 4 session 1, overall session 10. I'm so proud of you guys that you made this far. This is one month that we're going to complete working out together. Great job guys. Let's keep up the consistency and let's get right into our workout. Okay, for warm up, I want you guys to move, shift your weight from one leg to another. Go on. Just move, shift your weight from one leg to another. Keep it up guys for another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the leg movement be the same. We start our arm rotations. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Change. Hug yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change, guys. Spread your legs. Spread your hands. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's go back. Three steps forward. Swing your leg. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, guys. Aim. Good job. Keep the same footwork. Open up your hips. One. Follow along, guys. Come on. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Good job, guys. Next one, I want you guys to do a reverse lunge and raise your hands up. Come on. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Change. Next one, reverse lunge. The leg which is forward, turn your torso to that direction, okay? Same thing on the other side. Let's go one, two, three. Keep going, guys. Four. Five. Last one. Six. Good job, guys. Next, let's get on the floor. Let's place our hands on the ground. Okay? Dynamic hamstring stretch. So we're going to jump. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Right leg forward. Okay, we take our right hand. We touch our elbow to the ground. Open it to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, 
and E. Okay, I want you guys to change your leg and start. Go on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, good job. Let's place our uh, knees on the ground. Next, we're going to do thread the needle, guys. One hand forward, other hand threads the needle. So, towards the right and then towards the left. Come on, two, three, four. Keep going, guys. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Good job. Okay, next we are going to stretch our chest. So, 90 degree bend in one hand, other hand fully stretched out. Look towards the hand that is bent. One, each side. Two, Three. Come on, guys. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Good job. Next, kneel in thoracic rotations. So place one hand on your head. Touch the other hand. And then rotate as high as you can to the ceiling. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's change. Come on, start. One, two, three, four, five. Easy, guys. Six, seven, and eight. Okay. Next one, low knee bar hold. So just raise your knees off the ground and push your hands into the ground. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, up, dynamic quad stretch, guys. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Good job. Next, open your hip and just hold. One, two, three. Look, I'm losing balance. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Change your leg. Go on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Good job, guys. Let's turn each side. Open up. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Easy, guys. Six. Seven. Eight. Let's punch side to side. Come on. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, wrist rotations. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Change palms together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, guys. Good job. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to dive right into our HIIT session. So, today for our HIIT session, we have high knees with punches. 
and cross mountain climbers. Okay, so high knees with punches we're going to do for 25 seconds, three sets. It's nothing guys, it's just high knees and we're going to punch at the same time. So when your left leg is up, you, you have to throw your right hand and when your right leg is up, you have to throw your left hand. So opposite leg, opposite hand, okay? I'm going to start the timer now. We're going to perform this exercise for three sets. Come on, start. Breathe, guys. Don't forget to breathe. We're in this together. Follow along. Keep up. Any pace is fine. But this is the fourth week. I encourage you guys to push yourself, push your boundaries, and try to do better than you did the last weeks. Relax. Okay, I'm going to take rest round. Walk around. Breathe. This exercise really elevates your heart rate. Start. Keep going guys. Make a fist. Close your hands tightly into a fist. Punch. Relax. Pace around a little. Walk around. Oh, such a great exercise. One last set, guys. One last set. We got this. Let's start. Right now. So you can see I'm not raising my knees completely up, but if you want, you can raise completely up, guys. Depends on what pace you want to go, okay? Okay, guys, feel free to modify the exercises just a little to your liking. It's completely fine. Just, we have to make sure that in our strength exercises, a boxing, our form should be right, right? But in other exercises, whether it comes to HIIT or anything else, you can make slight modifications to your exercise and it's completely fine. Let's pace around a little. Let's take deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Great, awesome exercise. Okay, for the next, Exercise, we have cross mind and climber. So get into your push-up position. Okay, opposite knee to opposite hand. So, boom. That's it, guys. Yeah. Okay, quite simple. 25 seconds work, 25 seconds rest. Okay, let's sit here. Let's wait for a bit. Let our heart rate come down a little. And then we'll start the three sets together. Yeah. And 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds. Right guys, get up, get ready. I'm starting the timer. Get into your push-up position. Okay, and start. Cross mountain climbers. Come on guys, keep going. Keep going. Easy jumps. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. Relax. Take a break. Well then guys, as you can see, we're slowly, little by little, we're increasing the intensity of our workouts. That's how you get better, guys. You don't stick to doing the same thing. You increase it just a little so that you can grow. Let's go, guys. Our second set is starting right now. Come on. Keep going. Yeah. Easy chance. Ooh. 
cross cross mountain climbers cross yeah like if this is too hard a regular mountain climbers will suffice guys you can do the regular mountain climbers that's it guys i want you guys to do it at your pace if you can do fast do it fast if you can do it slow if you have to go a little slower please do slow but at the end of the day we have to complete those 25 seconds together okay that's our aim do it slow no problem but we have to complete come on guys come on, last set let's go oh just sudden burst of energy when i heard it the last set let's go keep going breathe let's go let's go oh well done guys you know what we deserved a water break let's go quickly for a water break and come back and do a strength session Okay dokie guys come on let's go back to our position today we are going to do nine reps of push ups and nine reps of squats okay last week we did with eight and if you guys remember we started with six so look how much progress we have made let's push ourselves let's get better as usual guys if you still cannot do a push up stick to knee push ups wall push ups incline push ups anything works but by now most of you guys would already we have some strength or some potential to at least do one or two clean push ups okay if you still haven't got it it's completely fine we are going through with this till 8 weeks guys by i ensure you by the end of 8 weeks you guys will have the strength to do a full normal push up okay so stick with me stick through this we are doing this together we will see results together okay let's get down we're going to do nine push ups and nine squats starting in 3 2 1 let's go 1 Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Up and squats. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Relax, guys. It really doesn't matter if you can do all the workouts at a stretch. Okay, basically we just have to hit the right number of reps during our day. That's that's how you basically grow. So you don't have to do all the nine push-ups together. Yes, if you do. all the nine push ups together you'll feel a great pump you'll feel a great satisfaction also but it's not necessary that if you do those nine push ups together only you will see growth no guys you can split it into 3 3 3 push ups or 1 1 1 1 1 push up you will still see growth guys so i encourage you guys to see whatever level you are in whatever you feel comfortable with and break down this workout to match and tailor match your needs guys that's it so don't get discouraged if you're not able to do it it's completely fine i've been there i couldn't do a single push up when i started working out i really practiced every single day for the, for at least 2 weeks until i could do a push up and it was probably 6 months or 8 months when i could do my first pull up so i really work hard i really tried every single day and that's how i got here uh, eventually this is uh, you're looking at me after like 7 years of consistent training so you see guys time in is everything the longer you do something the more it compounds into a greater result okay on a good note let's get down and start our push ups in 
two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Up, squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, guys. Keep moving. Okay, guys, I lied. It's not seven years, it's eight years. This is my eighth year of working out consistently. So, yeah. Soon I'm going to hit 10 years. Let's keep moving, guys. Relax. Move around a little. Keep going, guys. At the end of eight weeks, I'll show you guys how I looked when I started working out. I was this uh, short, fat, chubby kid that uh, decided to get himself together and basically fell in love with martial arts. Okay, let's get down. Let's go for nine push-ups starting in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Up squats. Come on. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Relax, guys. Let's go. Grab some water and bring your bottle because we're going to use the water bottle as a prop for our exercises. Okay? Let's go, guys. All right, guys, let's come back in. Let's place our water bottle. And yeah, the water bottle signals the cue that today in our boxing session, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to move in a circle. So last session, third week's last session, what did we learn, guys? We learned that not only forward, backward, leftward, and rightward are the movements in boxing. We have movements in circle also. We can go circle inwards and we can circle outwards so our basic rule of movement in boxing is whatever direction we want to go the leg closest to that direction takes the first step so if i want to go clockwise my left leg is closest to that direction so left leg takes a small step right leg takes a bigger step why guys because the left leg is on a smaller circumference of a circle and the right leg is at a bigger circumference of the circle that's the reason I'm doing this guys okay so we're going to go clockwise but today we're adding a small little twist to this movement we are going to throw our punches while moving clockwise and anti-clockwise so while moving to the left that means circling inwards I want you guys to throw a jab remember guys I told you that we are like a puppet our left hand is connected to our left leg and our right hand is connected to our right leg so Anytime my left leg takes a step, we throw a jab, and anytime my right leg takes a step, we throw a cross. But for now, we're keeping things extremely simple. All we're going to do is we're going to move clockwise. That means we're going to step with the left leg and move towards the left while we're throwing only the jab. It's going to look like this. Pay attention. Look, jab. Shh. 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 Fairly simple, guys. It's not hard, we all can do it. We're going to do it for 15 reps. Two sets starting in three, two, one. Let's go. One, sh, two, sh, three, sh, four, sh, five, sh, six, sh, seven, eight, sh, nine, sh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen and 15 that's it guys very simple 
We're going to do one more set of this. Let's give ourselves just 10 seconds of a breather. Let's just stay in one position. Breathe. Okay. We will start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, get into your fighting stance. Look, my hands are on my fist, my fists are on my cheekbone. My elbows are tightly tucked in. My chin is down. My body is facing the direction of my legs. And my knees are nice and loose. So I'm starting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe out, guys. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. That's it, guys. Good job. So while you guys rest, I'll show you what we're going to do next. Right now we wound inwards, right? We circle towards the left, we circle clockwise. Now we're going to circle counterclockwise, guys. So while circling counterclockwise, we know that our right leg leads the movement. So our right leg takes a step, left leg small step. So boom, boom. That's it. Look at this. Very simple. We got this, guys. Nice. But now, instead of throwing the jab, we're going to throw the cross. I told you guys, our hands and legs are like a puppet. So anytime my left leg moves, we throw a jab. Anytime my right leg moves, we throw a cross. Okay, that's what we are going to learn for now. But keep yourself like open to change because we will change this later. Okay, your left leg and right leg will be able will be throwing opposite punches as well, guys. So for now. As basic for 90% of our movement, a left leg and right leg have to be throwing the same side punches. That's it, guys. Simple. So now when we're moving towards the right side, I want you guys to throw the cross. So when the right leg takes a step, you throw the cross and then you bring your left leg. So boom, 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 boom. Boom, look, I'm extending my hand completely. My shoulders protecting my chin, my elbow is slightly raised. Look, guys, there's a slight bend in my elbow and my knuckles are facing slightly down. Okay, they're not up like this anywhere, they're not too much down because you will break your wrist if you punch in it. Then it's just slightly facing down, just in line with the rest of my hand. Look, boom. That's when these first two knuckles, we always attack with the first two knuckles. That's when they'll be able to make contact with the target. So let's go guys. 15 reps, two sets starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 1, sh, 2, sh, 3, sh, 4, sh, 5, sh, 6, sh, 7, sh, 8, sh, 9, sh, 10, sh, 11, sh, 12, sh, 13, 14, and 15. Relax. Well done. Let's stay in one position. Let's rest a little and we'll finish the second set. Guys. It's very simple. We'll move to the left. We were throwing the jab. We'll move to the right. We're throwing the cross. As usual, guys, you can do both also. We'll move to the left. You can throw jab cross. We'll move to the right. You can throw cross jab. Anything. Look, guys, the way we have structured the workout slowly slowly throughout the whole weeks you're learning so much about boxing you're learning new footwork you're learning how to move in circles how to move to the left how to move to the right straight forward you're learning new punches new combinations we're slowly 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 piecing everything together and not only that your boxing level is increasing your roll of fitness level is increasing guys we are doing some hiit we are doing some strength training and boxing in itself is very demanding on the body so that also is working on your whole body improving your fitness levels and finally we are doing abs also so can you see the holistic approach that we are taking to make sure that we all meet our goals okay let's get into our fighting stance and let's start moving anti-clockwise ready three two one let's go one sh, two sh, three sh, four sh, five sh, six sh, seven sh, eight sh, nine sh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, guys. Relax. You can take, drink some water and put your bottle back where you got it from.
all right awesome guys so today we are going to practice a few new combinations okay so last class we learned a new defensive movement against the straight punches against any punches to be honest okay we know in boxing there are three types of defenses defense with your feet defense with your body and defense with your hands so we learn the first and most simple basic defense that every beginner should know it is the step back okay so you push off with your front leg and you quickly get away from your opponent that's what the step back is so boom that's it boom that's it very simple remember don't put your weight on the back leg put your weight a little on the front leg and then boom so right now we are going to do the combination that we did last class which is we're going to step forward with a jab okay pull our back leg and then we're going to step back and then we're going to go forward with a one two very simple so jab step back one two simple breathe out guys chin down arms in on your cheekbones elbows nicely tucked inside body face in the direction of your leg and your knees are nice and loose okay remember these are points that are very 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 important guys that's when i cannot correct your form you guys always have to stop pause look if everything is fine is this toe and this heel in the same line all of these tiny little things and tiny little key points are something that you guys have to monitor yourself okay we're going to start the 15 reps three two sets starting in three two one let's go forward jab step back one two one come on two three jab defend attack four come on attack defend attack five breathe out six seven defend attack eight attack defend attack nine ten eleven 12 13 look straight guys 14 and 15 good job you guys would have caught me there doing a few extra punches in middle i apologize it's uh, a little difficult to count and then to just take classes and do the movement perfectly also so i apologize if one or two reps i made a mistake okay we'll do one more set so we're doing jab step back one two okay i'll just show you guys how this looks fast so that's it so okay obviously we don't need to do it that fast we're just going to jab step back and then one but if you want to just know how you will look after a few months of training it's going to look like this that's it guys okay let's start our 15 reps last set starting in three two one let's go one two three Four. Come on, guys. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good job, guys. Practice is everything. Repetition is everything in boxing, guys. The moment you learn something new, we have to practice, 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 and practice so that it becomes muscle memory. Good job, guys. I want you guys 
to remember this combination because this is combo number one okay that's all you have to remember this is combo number one it is one step back one two good job guys okay next we're going to slightly complicate slightly increase the level of difficulty of our combination so next what we're going to do is we're going to step in with two punches that means jab cross that's it then you're going to step back defend and then you're going to chase your opponent with the one one two okay if you guys forgot how to throw the one one two it is one pull the back leg when you pull this hand and then you throw the one two okay very simple actually how the one one two has to look is like this that's it okay but we will get there i don't want you guys to rush the process for now very simple it's just one one two so i attack the opponent i defend against my opponent's retaliation and i chase and i finish what i started okay so one two forward i'm going to step back and i'm going to throw one one two 15 reps two sets start in three two one let's go forward one two step back one one two come on two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen relax okay in the start almost 10 reps i did the one one two how i naturally do it i apologize i want you guys to do the one one two okay four steps forward with the movement let's take some rest and we will finish the second set as well guys good job well done we're learning we're getting better we're progressing please follow along guys we got this Move, just move a little, move a little, breathe, catch your breath. All right, let's get back into our position and let's start the one, two, step back, one, one, two. In three, two, one, let's go. One, shh, 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 get back. Two, shh, 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 shh. three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Well done guys, good job, superb. We have one last combination that we're going to learn today. Let's take a small little breather before we get there. Okay, so how did we start the combination today guys? Our combo number one was one punch forward, we defend and then we throw two punches forward again. Second combination, it was two punches forward, we defend and then we throw three punches 
going forward again. The third combination that we're going to do right now, it is three punches forward, step back, three punches forward again, okay? So first combination was one punch forward, step back two punches. Second combination was two punches forward, step back three punches forward. And now finally, we're going to do three punches forward, step back and attack again with three punches forward, okay? A long six punch combination. So at first, what we're going to start the combination is, we're going to go with the one, one, two, okay? We provoked our opponent, we hit our opponent, He's going to retaliate. That's what we know, okay? So we step back, our opponent misses, and then we take that advantage and we go for a one, two, one, okay? For the one, two, one, I hope you guys remember the footwork. It is four steps forward, same as the one, one, two. All you're doing is you're throwing the jab on the one uh, with the left leg forward, then you're throwing the cross on the, uh, with this, uh, while pulling your uh, back leg, then you're throwing the jab again while, uh, taking a step forward with your uh, lead leg and then finally you're pulling your jab when your back leg takes the last and final fourth step okay so on the first step jab second step cross third step jab and fourth step you pull your jab back okay so we're going to do the one one two we're going to step back we're going to throw the one two one okay fairly simple guys let's practice this 15 reps two sets starting in three two one let's go one step back one two one okay two one one two step back one two one okay three one one two step back one two one okay come on four jab jab cross step back jab cross jab okay five one one two step back one two one Come on, six, one, one, two, step back, one, two, one, seven, one, one, two, step back, one, two, one, easy guys, eight, one, one, two, step back, one, come on, nine, breathe out guys, shh, 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 ten, shh, 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 Good. 11. Shh, shh, shh. Step back. Shh. 12. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. Good. 13. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. 14. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. And 15. Good job guys, well done. I want to remind you guys again, practice and repetition is everything in this sport guys. I told you already, there are only six punches in boxing. But what makes it, what makes a beginner different from a pro boxer? What makes a pro boxer a pro boxer and a beginner a beginner? The difference is nine years, 10 years, 15 years of that pro boxer throwing the same jab what a beginner has been thrown only for a month. That's the difference guys, okay? It's not some extra craft or anything, guys. It's just repetitions. You have to put in the reps. You cannot, there is no shortcut in this sport, guys. If you're talented, yes, your talent combined with your technical knowledge of the sport will help you get further faster, right? That 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 is that. But if you're not talented, guys, if you uh, still love the sport, the sport is still something that can give you a lot and it will all come to you only with repetitions. The more you practice, the more time you put in, the more you stretch your practice along, across a long timeline, across a long period of time, is that's how you get better, guys. So keep your expectations uh, realistic. And I'm just telling you guys that this is a repetitious sport. We have to put in the reps, guys. We have to throw those punches 100 times, 1,000 times, 5,000 times one lakh times and that's when we actually get it guys so remember the technique remember the form whatever it is and throw your punches keep the repetitions in 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 but make sure you don't overwork okay spread your training across a long period of time so that you still find the sport fun joy it brings you joy and at the end of the day it brings you happiness so just one important point over here so when i'm throwing the one one two look i'm turning my back leg but in the 
one, two, one, okay? Sometimes you might not get a chance to completely turn your back leg. It's completely fine, guys. When we are doing extensive footwork, it is really hard for us to turn our leg, okay? And the more you will, uh, the more you dive into the sport, you will also realize that it's not necessary for you to turn the back leg if you want to produce power from your hips, okay? It will come to you because you will understand that just by uh, moving your hips and bringing the power from your leg, you will still be able to generate substantial power, guys. But as a beginner, we have to focus on these small things so that it brings us to the results that we want, guys. That's the reason why we keep turning our leg in all the punches. Okay, guys, we're going to do the last set, okay? So one, one, two, step back, one, two, one, okay? Fairly simple, we're going to start in three, two, one, let's go, come on, one, sh sh step back, one, two, one, two, sh 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 step back, one, two, one, three, sh 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 step back, one, two, one, four, sh sh sh, I apologize, okay, let's go again, four again, four, sh sh sh, sh sh sh, good, Five, sh, sh, sh. step back, one, two, one, six, sh, sh, sh. Sh, sh, sh. good, seven, sh, sh, sh. step back, one, two, one, eight, sh, sh, sh. Sh, sh, sh. nine, sh, sh, sh. Sh, sh, sh. good, ten, sh, sh, sh. 11, sh, sh, sh. step back, 1, 2, 1, 12, sh, sh, sh. Sh, sh, sh. 13, sh, sh, sh. Sh, sh, sh. 14, sh, sh, sh. Sh, sh, sh. and 15, sh, sh, sh. relax guys, well done. Super. So today we learned how to punch and move in a circle motion. That means moving clockwise and moving anti-clockwise. Today we learned three new combinations, which is, sorry, two new combinations. The first combination we already did last class, which is jab, step back, one, two. Next one is one, two, step back, one, one, two. And finally it is one, one, two, step back, one, two, one, guys. Look, guys, how much we're learning, how much we're progressing. Great job, guys, well done. Today, this is all that we're going to have for our boxing session. Let's quickly get our mats in. Let's go to the floor and finish our ab session. Let's take some rest before that. Okay, guys, so our first exercise in the ab session is bicycle crunches so bring your knee bring your elbow boom that's it we're going to do it for 12 reps two sets starting in three two one let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve relax one more set guys just relax, bicycle crunches. Okay guys, let's start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job guys. Okay, next exercise is our leg raises. Remember guys, your lower back has to be pressed flush against the ground. Don't lift your lower back. There should be any gap between your lower back and the ground. Make sure that you look at your legs while you're doing the leg raises. Let's take another five seconds rest and then we'll start 12 sets of two, 12 reps of two sets of leg raises. Okay guys. We're starting at 
3 2 1 let's go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 good job guys one more set well done guys breathe Okay, we'll start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten, sorry, eleven, twelve. My apologies, guys. I almost skipped two reps over that. Good job. Okay, next we are going to have heel taps. Very simple exercise. So lay down and touch your heels. That's it, guys. Okay. We'll start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Relax. We'll do one more set of this. Okay, guys, let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. Ten, eleven, twelve. Relax. Okay, last we're going to do is hollow body holds. We're going to do it for 20 seconds, then 20 seconds rest, and then one more set. So two sets of hollow body holds. Good job guys, it's our last exercise. Let's get done with it. And then we basically had a great start to our week four. Okay, I'm starting the timer. Let's get into our position. Start. Hold guys. If you want it harder, you can straighten your legs. I don't want it harder, so I'll just do it this way. start the second set. Okay guys, let's get into position. Timer is about to go off. Start. Keep going guys, keep going. Hold, hold. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Well done. Congratulations. You have made it through fourth week. First exercise, first session, guys. Well done. It's our session number 10. So 10 sessions we have done together. And at the end of eight weeks, we're going to be stronger, more confident, more fitter and at the end of the day, happier. Peace.